So nature, nature is a wonderful teacher, isn't it? Isn't she? Absolutely, although I should not be gender specific. <laughs> nature is both male and female. But it is though, folks, isn't it? And it has every message, and I know I've talked about this before, but it has, it has, it has every message that we need to kind of help navigate us through difficult, through kind of life's challenges. And, um, you know, the, 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 the people who could tell us most about that are the indigenous groups and the tribal groups, isn't it? They have all these incredible gifts and skills about how to live in alignment and in harmony with nature and how healthier we would be when we when we eventually do that again but I was going to talk about how nature helps us with difficult navigating difficult situations in life and one of the one of the stories that I heard recently was about the the willow tree the flexible willow tree and the mighty but hard and rigid oak and which one survived in the strong storms of the winter months? Well, the willow, the willow survived. And why did the willow survive? And the oak was broken by the batterings of the constant storms and wind and rain. How did the willow survive? Because it was flexible. Because it learns to bend and accept and flow with the different elements that it meets in life. And this happens with our, with our distracted, unsettled mind, doesn't it? We've lost our natural skills to help us with that because we've got so many, we're living in a, in a, in a world where our digital devices and everything, and I'm holding one of them, distracts us all and we've got a different kind of a lifestyle, don't we? So our natural kind of way of being has, uh, has kind of gone to the wayside. So we need to learn, relearn how to manage that, how to access our natural kind of calm being and how to be okay with our different emotions and feelings that come up and how to weather them just like the flexible willow does and the mighty oak we think is the mighty oak that uh, stands against the elements no matter what. Yeah, holds on to its beliefs, holds on to the way. It's always been like this. This is how it is. This is what I believe. This is what's going to happen. And holds there rigid, not allowing any kind of other information or any way of being or, or allowing any kind of changes or flowing with the, with, with the elements. Not allowing that, holding there. And it eventually breaks this brittle, rigid, closed system. And that's what happens with us. When we get into that fear state, when we get into that, you know, holding on to the way of ways and scared of actually allowing other kind of, looking at other perspectives, looking at other viewpoints, kind of, allowing allowing the flow of life things to just flow through us allowing whatever arises within us to just ex to to be okay with it see what it has to say to us see the message that it has for us and flow and bend be flexible with that 
be open and allow and to walk with feeling. That's how the willow survives. So what tree are we going to be today, folks? What are we going to be?